Hey folks, welcome back. In this video, we're going to go over seven worked examples to show you how to do problems involving properties of electromagnetic waves. Now, if you haven't already done so, check out my previous video covering the theory in this topic, and that way you can apply what you learned in that video to this one. So let's get into it. Question 1 says, state the speed that all electromagnetic waves travel at in a vacuum. Well, remember this speed is the speed of light 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second, which you'll find on the data sheet in the exam. Question 2 says to list the parts of the electromagnetic spectrum in order of increasing wavelength, i.e. decreasing frequency. Well, if we're going in order of increasing wavelength, then we need to start with the member of the electromagnetic spectrum that has the lowest wavelength. And that's going to be gamma rays, followed by x-rays, then ultraviolet, visible light, infrared, microwaves, and then radio and TV waves. Question 3a says to state the type of electromagnetic radiation that has the longest wavelength. Well, remember it's radio waves that have the longest wavelength, and for smallest wavelength, we have gamma rays. For lowest frequency, remember that's the same as longest wavelength, so we have radio waves. And for highest frequency, that's the same as having the smallest wavelength, so it must be gamma rays. And lastly, the type that has the greatest energy is also gamma rays, i.e. they're the most dangerous. Question 4 says a satellite orbiting the Earth transmits television signals to a receiver. The signal takes a time of 120 milliseconds to reach the receiver. Calculate the distance between the satellite and the receiver. Well, writing down what we know from the question here, we're trying to find the distance d. We know the speed v is 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second, i.e. the speed of light for these television signals, since they're members of the electromagnetic spectrum. And remember, all EM waves travel at the speed of light. And the time t is 120 milliseconds, which we need to change into seconds. So that will become 120 times 10 to the minus 3 seconds. So writing down our equation relating distance, speed, and time, we have d equals vt. Substituting in the numbers gives 3 times 10 to the 8 times 120 times 10 to the minus 3, and putting that into your calculator should give you an answer of 3.6 times 10 to the 7 meters. Question 5 says Mars is approximately 225 million kilometers away from Earth. Calculate the time taken for a radio signal to travel from Mars to Earth. Well, writing down what we know from the question, we're trying to find the time t. We know the speed of light v is 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second, since we're talking about radio waves. And the distance d is 225 million kilometers, so that's the same as 225 times 10 to the 6 kilometers, which we can rewrite in meters as 225 times 10 to the 9 meters, i.e. just timesing this by a thousand. Writing down our equation relating distance, speed, and time, we have d equals vt. Rearranging for the time t, we can divide both sides by v to get t equals d over v. Substituting in the numbers gives 225 times 10 to the 9 divided by 3 times 10 to the 8, and putting that into your calculator should give you an answer of 750 seconds. Question 6 says, during a car journey, you turn on the radio to West FM and start singing along to an absolute anthem. The frequency of the radio waves is 96.7 MHz. Calculate the wavelength of the radio waves. Well, writing down what we know from the question this time, we're trying to find the wavelength lambda. We know the speed of radio waves is 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second since they travel at the speed of light. And the frequency f is 96.7 megahertz, which we need to change into hertz, so that becomes 96.7 times 10 to the 6 hertz. Writing down our equation relating speed, frequency, and wavelength, we have v equals f lambda. Rearranging for lambda, we can divide both sides by f to get lambda equals v over f. And substituting in our numbers gives 3 times 10 to the 8 divided by 96.7 times 10 to the 6. And then putting that into your calculator should give you an answer of 3.1 meters. Lastly, question 7 says x-rays produced by an x-ray source have a wavelength of 10 nanometers. Calculate the frequency of the x-rays. Well, here we're trying to find the frequency f. We know the speed v of x-rays is the speed of light, 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second, since x-rays are members of the electromagnetic spectrum, and all members of the EM spectrum travel at the speed of light. And lastly, our wavelength lambda is 10 nanometers, which we need to convert into meters, so that's the same as saying 10 times 10 to the minus 9 meters. Writing down our equation relating speed, frequency, and wavelength, we have v equals f lambda. Rearranging for f this time, we can divide both sides by lambda to get f equals v over lambda. Substituting in the numbers gives 3 times 10 to the 8 divided by 10 times 10 to the minus 9, and putting that into your calculator should give you an answer of 3 times 10 to the 16 hertz. That's all for this video folks, thanks for watching, if you made it to the end I really appreciate it. Make sure to give the video a like, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.